So now that we have this wedging set up, we can maybe add a little flip book. So I'm going to set up a new camera. After this caching step, what we want to do is run a flipbook render of this. So what you can use for that is the OpenGL. So I'm going to use a rock fetch and we're going to call this cache geo. Make it clean and we're going to call this flipbooking. And so I'm going to create a rock network here and that's where I'm going to put my OpenGL thing. OpenGL. Since I, I don't have a really complicated setup, most of this is fine. Rock path, I'm going to get this. And then uh, we're going to do frame range. And I don't, I'm just going to copy this parameter uh, and paste it here. There we go. All frames in one batch and now we just need to set up a name for it in this output so I'm gonna get this I'm gonna copy this see control V and then I'm gonna call this test vellum image and then JPEG is more than okay. Now, what is nice with this, this OpenGL ROP is that you can add viewport comments. So what we want to do is maybe get this stiffness value um, in here. So I'm going to do Alt E to bring up the edit expression box and in here I'm going to do backtick p at and I call it stiffness and so I'm going to say stiffness equals and then I'm going to also do wedge index equals in this case it's not really necessary but it's something nice to do so I'm going to apply and accept that and it evaluates correctly you can, as you can see when I click on it it's minus and 5 great so now let's do a generate uh, I get a warning multiple work items list single file of their output yeah so we want to do single frame here because obviously uh, we want to we don't want to do a frame range because otherwise everyone is going to cook a bunch of times frame one is going to cook frame one frame two is going to cook frame two etc and it's going to be nice let's cook this and see what happens actually what I should have done this is because this is going to run when when the flip booking is going to cook this is going to cook every single time so what you would want to do is actually do a file stop here and then take this and copy it here and then put the flag on this and that means this is going to load and that's what's going to be flip booked and it's not going to run this whole network again it, for now let's check if this copnet is doing what we want and stiffness equals minus 5, wedge index equals 5 so that's pretty nice. Let's set it to 1, see what that gives us, get our result here, great. What we would like to do is have a flipbook of all of these so there's the FFmpeg encode video. Um, but what the what this expects is a um, a series of files that it's going to then convert to a video. So I can't just plug this in; that won't work. It's going to make a video of all of all three of them, which is something we could want. But I want a video per wedge. 
So I can partition uh, by index. In this case, it's um, uh, actually I want to partition by this new index. So what I want to do is partition by attribute, if I can type, um, which is this guy. And I'm going to plug this in. And the attribute is going to be new index. Now, when I generate this node, I should get three partitions, like I did over here. And it gives me exactly what I want. So now that I have this, I can plug this in. And we're going to call this video. And run that. Cool. Now I have all three videos. I have this video for wedge number one, number two, for wedge number three. That's nice and all, but what if we could have all three of them displayed in a sort of montage? So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to set that aside. So what we want to do is to use image magic. So this uh, FFmpeg now comes with Houdini, but this still doesn't. So you'll have to install image magic if you don't have it. And what we want to do is use this montage mode, concatenate. So what this does, it's, it's going to take all of these JPEGs and sort of put them next to each other. Then we're going to feed that massive sort of montage inside this FFmpeg. Um, but to plug this into here, what we'll need is to sort so all these frames by this frame attribute. So I have this frame attribute here, number one, 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 one. And that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to do a partition by attribute. Uh, and in here, what you want to do is now use this frame. Now when I generate this node, I get 24 partitions. I'm going to show you that you can do, for example, 10 by 10. And now I get a lot more work items. And that way you can check that when I click here, you can see that frame number one from each wedge comes into this little rectangle box. And that's what partitioning is, right? It's sort of making groups based on a condition. In this case, it's matching frame attribute. So now we're going to plug this into this image magic. And I'm going to call this montage dot. And we can use this frame attribute here. Oh, we could use dollar f, but I guess this is sort of cleaner. I uh, see uh, capital F. So let's generate this node. Again, a warning. Uh, I do have the frame here, so I should use that instead. So P at frame. There we go, we got rid of the time dependency and this now evaluates properly. Brilliant. And now this will give me a JPEG with all three images stacked next to each other. And I'm going to take my friend FMPEG and just do video montage, generate this node. Uh, and this is not what I want, right? Because it's going to generate 24 videos. That's not cool. Wait for all. Generate node. Now I get just one. Cool. So what wait for all does is that it waits for all the stuff to be cooked and then puts it into one partition. And then I can feed that into the FMPEG encode. So we're here. And now we can cook this node. Wait for is going to wait for image magic to be done. And then that's going to be fed into the FMPEG encode. And it's going to make my nice little montage. 
Okay, so that's done. So let's have a look at our result. So now we see that we've got all three wedges. Uh, we've got our wedge index our, and our stiffness in the top left corner there. So you can see stiffness is max, it gives you this result. Stiffness is five, gives you that result, minus five. And that's how you can do the montage with Image Magic and FMPEG. Yeah.